Hi guys, we've made some more progress with the Arco install ISO. When we released the Arco install ISO in about nine days, so beginning of April, you'll see that you don't need the internet anymore to launch it. But yes, of course it is. Arco install ISO is basically an Arch Linux ISO. If you have a LAN cable and an internet is there, fine. If you don't have a LAN cable, then you have to set up your internet connection because the packages are not coming from the ISO. The packages are coming from the internet. So that's always the exact same set challenge as on an Arch Linux ISO, right? You figure out with IWCTL, for example, how to get a connection with your personal Wi-Fi. The difference is that the old ISO, we can put the old ISO in here and show you, yes, all right. We can boot up the one that we had a, few, uh, a week or so ago. And basically we use a script that's on github.com, Arch Linux, Arch install. That's the home base, right? The code comes from there. We adapted a little bit those scripts so we can install Arco, install rather Arco packages and Arco TWMs rather than just the ones from Arch. We're missing a few, right? So this happens, this needs the internet. It's going to build Arch install and here it comes an archive in. You see pipe hearted. It comes in from github.com, decontrol, pipe hearted in the middle of the screen more or less. If no internet, it can't be built, right? We've solved this thing, we said, okay, fine. That's uh, cool and it works great on VirtualBox because you have internet with LAN cables because you have internet, right? But what if you have a one of those machines, those laptops that we can't even plug in a LAN cable? There is no possibility hardware wise to plug in anything. So we've got a new ISO. We created this ISO and now we're testing it out. And basically on VirtualBox, again, it's going to work because it has internet on uh, all my machines, all have, or all have LAN cables, so it will work. But what if you have a laptop and you don't have internet? At that point, you need to hook, you need to go to one or other present Wi-Fi. You need to know the password for the Wi-Fi. You need to know the name of the Wi-Fi and off you go. It's basically now more arch than ever so you'll see when we boot up later on that it will not be built maybe should quickly go and have a look um, here it is right this is basically the look from arch there's no difference and it is right it's, it's a copy paste basically of arch linux but with our scripts with our twms and i wanted to go to the website where it all is and I've added a little bit of text there. So Arco install is a new idea where we say, let's go and use the scripts from Arch Linux and create our ISO with our Arco packages. And all of this, um, this is where you need to find it. And I've added this little text. What if you have no LAN cable, right? No internet and you have to go to the internet, you need to connect to Wi-Fi. So these are the steps you need to take. And then you are on the internet. And then basically the story goes on. If there is internet, there are a few aliases for me, but maybe some of you can use it. BE means load the keys. For me, this is not working, right? QWERTY, I want to have AZERTY. So BE is for me, AZERTY, from now on, I'm typing normal for me. And then, there's the arch, but if you want to type a lot more, you can type arch install advanced. This is the text that's official text, right? From arch. The other one is an alias, as simple as that. And if you wonder what aliases there are, you always type alias. So um, off you go. Basically, it's make sure your internet, if your internet, uh, for how do you test that? Pacman minus S Y Y U. Have a look got these lines you've got internet right you can even install this thing i think this is not too big right if there are large packages coming in it won't be installed it's, it's just there's no place for it but this is just okay 
you don't need to do that, right? You don't need to do that. And then off you go, you type Arch or Arch install advanced and off you go installing everything. Basically, this ISO compared with the previous month is we don't build Arch install, right? We have a package. So we have an Arch install package and we have an Arco install package. And the difference is this. This is why we do it, right? This is why we do it. We've got awesome and all the Arconix packages, BSPWM, Budgie, ChatWM, Cinnamon, and some of them we don't touch. This is pure Arch. We don't, uh, did not change anything here, nor in e Deeping and nor in Enlightenment, but all the rest have our settings, our packages, our choices, our design, our config. Without a proper config, i3 is not nice, right? But it's a great desktop environment if you got the configs for it. So there you are. Um, next video, so next so ISA, I mean, in beginning of April, we'll have um, the Arco install ISO, and there's no need for um, plugging in your LAN cable or anything. You can go straight to the Wi Fi and connect there. Um, it's your choice. It just works now. Cheers.